chapter 16, verse 26. Can you say after me? Luke chapter 16, verse 26. It says, a great chasm has been set in place. A great chasm has been set in place. Luke chapter 16, verse 26. It says, a great chasm has been set in place. Here we are, eager to know about what happened to Lazarus and the rich man. I'm also excited. Look at this. Look at how healthy Lazarus is. Who knows where he is? I know he's in heaven. Who's this? The Bible tells us it's Abraham. Who is Abraham? You know this song that goes, Father Abraham has many sons? Yes, that's Abraham. Abraham is the father of faith, and Abraham is in heaven. When we die, because Lazarus has died, we'll find Father Abraham in heaven. I know you're excited about the rich man, and I'll tell you what happens to the rich man, but let us look at the Lazarus. The Bible tells us Lazarus received comfort, comf was comforted. Lazarus was, uh, was receiving favor like he was not in, in the world. Lazarus, he looks healthy, so I think he was eating nice. He was, because he believed in God. And God comforts those who are weak. God comforts the poor children. And in heaven, it's evident. And he's receiving eternal life. Is that exciting? I think I'd rather be saved eternally so that I can live, be happy in heaven. It's so exciting. I'm about to tell you what happened to the poor, to the rich man. But it's so sad. I wish he was a nice man when he was on earth. I really wish he was. But there's nothing he can do. Because now, look at him. I feel sad for him. Do you? Because if he was a nice man, this is fire. Did you see fire? There's fire all over his body. I feel so much pity on him. If he was caring, if he prepared for his death by being saved and being God's child, he'd not, he'd not be suffering in his death. So if you want to be ready for God's coming, and if you want to be ready for God, for death, you should be a God, you should be saved. Not be like the rich man, because the rich man is now in eternal fire. Everlasting fire. Do you know what that means? That he will burn, burn, always burn. It's so painful. You can imagine. I know you can imagine. And look at the Lazarus. Now he's no longer poor. Because we can't call him poor. Look at Lazarus. He's just looking at him, wishing he can do something to help him. But as the rich man was in hell, the rich man saw Lazarus and really pleaded with Abraham to tell Lazarus to just dip his finger in water so that he can get some, he can thirst, he can thirst him. But you know what? <laughs> when you're bad, you cannot even be helped. So he, he could not be able to be helped. Maybe they would have loved to help him, to help him, but there was a reason why they could not help him. 
the reason Abraham told the rich man that Lazarus could not help him because there's a big valley in between and Lazarus cannot cross and the rich man cannot cross to this other side so that Lazarus would help him. So the rich man pleaded with Abraham, please Abraham, let Lazarus go to the world, to, to earth, and warn my brothers. Tell them that there is eternal fire in, have, in hell. You know what Abraham told the rich man? He told the rich man, there are prophetess, there is a pro, the, there are prophet on earth to warn the brothers that you left on earth. And you know what? We should be good. Why should we be good? Because you are being guided. Like Abraham told the rich man, there are prophets on earth guiding your brothers. So we should always listen. We have Sunday school teachers. We have pastors. We have TV shows that tell us to be good children of God in preparation of the coming of Jesus and in preparation of our death. We never know what time death can come. It can come even right now. We never know when Jesus is coming back. So we should be prepared. We should be able to answer God's call and God, what God wants with our hearts. And God wants us to be prepared for his coming so that we can have eternal life like Lazarus. I think I, I, I not, not, not that I think, I know that I will go to heaven. Why do I know? Because I am a good child of God. Are you one? Do you want to be a one? Because you can't be one. The chance is now. Every, and if it is not now, it is now. No one wants to burn in hell like the rich man in the Bible. We, want, we all want to be good like Lazarus was. So I will help you be a child of God. And how? By, help, by praying with you. And you should say this prayer after me so that you can be saved and be a good child of God. Let us pray. God, come into my soul. Save me and make me a good child. Make me your child and be my Lord and Savior. Amen. By that prayer, you are a good child of God. Remember also to, be, to help your neighbor and do as the Bible says. Do you all have Bibles? This is what a Bible looks like. I know you have one. So, and if you don't have one, tell your parents to buy you one so that you can be reading, reading scriptures from the Bible and be a good example. I was so, that was so exciting. I hope the story was exciting. See you next time. I am Teacher Angie and I love you all. Hi kids. It's time for another song of the week. Are you enjoying your VBS so far? Wow, so am I. And this week it was amazing. We're learning about Father Abraham and Lazarus. Can I tell you something? The Bible tells us that the friends of God will go to heaven and become saints. Saints like Father Abraham, like who else? Ah, very nice. Now, are you a friend of God? If you are a friend of God, then you will become a saint. And one day the saints will go to heaven and they will march in. Will you be among them? So, our song this week is about saints who are marching. Could you stand up and march with us? So, the and song goes like this. And as usual, the lyrics are on the screen. So, Oh, when the saints go marching in Oh, when the saints go
the song? Now sing along with us. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Join us next week for another song of the week, but join us tomorrow for the continuation of the lesson. Bye!